Hello guys, welcome back to Android Triggers. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Android right in your Windows PC. So yeah, let's get started. So there are many types of emulators um, on internet, guys. One of the popular one is called as BlueStacks, Android, and these stuff. But the best one out of all of them, uh, which is not as popular as them, is Memo Emulator which is right here to download it go into memo search for memo emulator otherwise i'll also put the link in the description there you go memoplay.com click on it click on download and you can choose uh, which formula you want to download kitkat or lollipop um, i'm using kitkat i don't know why i like kitkat rather than lollipop i will just choose kitkat click on download and you should start downloading right away um, I am not doing it again because I already did it as you can see I already installed it you can just install it and after installation you will get these icons multi memo and memo these both so the best feature there are many best features like uh, you can run two or three emulators uh, at one instance uh, which you can't do in blue stacks you can run Three emulators, four emulators, depending on the speed of your processor and the availability of RAM, you can run as many instances as you want. Um, and it is pre-rooted, so that's fucking insane. So yeah, once you get these icons, uh, if you want to launch multi memo, if you want to launch multiple emulators, click on it. And here, as you can see, I am only having one emulator right here. Hit create emulator create emulator and it should start creating emulator it will not clone this one it will be a fresh install and there you go guys now I have two emulators right here uh, if you want both of them to start at one instance click on start and there you go the first emulator is right here and now let's open the second one you can start there you go the second one there you go now two emulators are running at the same time guys which is insane um, for some apps like perk and grab points or any um, apps you can run both of them at the same time that is the best feature of this one and it's very very smooth when compared to blue stacks and you know, I used all of them but nothing is as smooth as this one and also you get a lot of tools right here once you click on settings click on settings once you click on settings um, okay we will start in give me a second uh, my PC will be very very slow because I am running both of them at the same time and I only have 4 GB of RAM and this is my first emulator which is customized and this is my personal one and once you click on settings it will take some time by the way and you can choose the CPU cores uh, default it was at 2 cores I just moved it to 4 cores and you can choose the resolution as well you can choose the memory that is RAM and you can choose all this stuff but when you go into advanced settings you will find the stuff which you want there you go the IMEI number the mobile phone number you can generate and you can change the IMEI without installing exposed and stuff it is inbuilt how awesome is that and also the root mode there you go you need not root these devices they are pre-rooted so that's insane and you can also spoof the GPS location right here it is a full fledged emulator guys not like blue stacks and stuff and blue stacks will ask you to uh, install some apps for the trial versions in order to continue using blue stacks but fuck that now we have this emulators which we want actually it is very very smooth um, at least not on my PC because I am running two instances at the same time and now let's shift back to the second emulator those there you go guys this is my second emulator right here and this is my first emulator so 
even though it's running two emulators uh, my PC is perfectly fine there you go when I run three of them my PC will get very very laggy I know that that is why I will only run one emulator personally and if you want to hack some apps or if you want to create multiple accounts this is the best way guys you have the IMEI changer inbuilt root mode inbuilt and what you want and also the GPS location you can spook the GPS location uh, right from the settings not even installing third party apps so yeah everything works fine guys uh, I did not face a single issue with this memory emulator and everything works um, as you can see I have some root apps installed and uh, yeah so this is the emulator itself and oops oopsie in a second guys and you can choose the rotation over here I don't know what's this it's just emulating the shakes and there's a virtual keyboard um, volume up volume down settings I already, I already showed you right and this, the default path and GPS these are the shortcuts if you want you can customize these mm, and you can also install APK files obviously so yeah play store works fine and everything works fine I did not face any single issue with this app and yeah as you can see I'm running KitKat I'm running it on KitKat so yeah thank you guys for watching my video please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel this is Pawan Kumar from Android Trigger signing off